Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. I already have created few videos on set analysis. Today we will learn indirect set analysis using element functions P and E. The database which we are going to use for this application is very simple. It's a few lines of sales data where we have customer, year, product and sales information. I have already loaded this data inside an application and created two pure tables. Both the tables are having two dimensions, customer and product, but the first table is having customer first and product second dimension, while the second pure table is having product as the first dimension and customer as the second dimension. The third dimension is year and I have used sum of sales as my measure. We will understand where we can use element functions P and E in set modifier. P stand for possible values while E stand for excluded values. Please note down that P and E element functions can only be used inside set analysis and we cannot use them inside any other click functions. So let's start. First of all, we will understand how set analysis works where we have more than one dimensions inside set modifier. So if I will say sum of sales here, then I will get total sales. 1901 you can see from the top 1901 in both the pure table and if I will say I want sum of sales for product laptop so I will now get sum of sales of laptop for all the customers and across all the years. So the total value we are getting is 458. So if you see here laptop we are having total of 458. As soon as I will add another dimension here. So say another dimension is customer equal to A. So as soon as I will use this another dimension I will get answer 125. How? So for laptop customer AAA has got sales of 125 across 4 years. So 55 for 2019 and 70 for 2022. So how this set modifier works? We can read this set modifier as total sales, sum of sales of customer A and product laptop. That means it is end condition between two or more than two dimensions inside set modifier. If I will use here year equal to 2022 that means I want sum of sales for product laptop for only customer A and year 2022. So this combination will give me 70 as the answer so we can see that for laptop customer A and 2022 we have value 70. So when we use more than one dimension inside the set modifier they are working as AND. But if I will use here something like this. If I will say laptop and if I will say TV then I am getting total value as 1091. How? So laptop and TV will give me total value of 1091. But if I will mention here now customer equal to A. What is the meaning of this? We are getting 365. So if you select customer A here, we are getting total 365. So the meaning of this is I want sum of sales for customer AAA for product laptop or TV means when you are mentioning more than one value inside set modifier for any dimension that means this will create or condition. So this can be written something like this customer AAA and product laptop or 
कस्टमर ए ए ए एंड प्रोडक्ट टीवी सो दिस इज आउ सेट मॉडिफायर वर्स इन सेट एनालिसिस नाउ वी विल मूव अहेड विथ अवर एलिमेंट फंक्शन सो द फर्स्ट रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर अस इज वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर्स वो परचेज लैपटॉप Now try to understand the question. Number of customers who purchase laptop. So when I select laptop here, I can see that there are three customers who have purchased laptop. Customer A A A, customer B B B, and customer C C C. That means we should get answer as three. So first, if I will do here count of distinct customer, then I will get answer as four. because we have total four customers a b c and d but out of this four only three customers have ever purchased laptop so if i will mention here something like this and if i will say product equal to laptop then what will happen i am getting answers 3 so is this correct at first glance it looks like yes the answer is correct but if we will get some of sales of those customers so here i will write some of sales of those customers who purchase laptop then i am getting 458 so now understand the question first we need sum of sales of all the customers who purchase product laptop so if i'll select laptop here i have three customers a b and c now if i will select a b and c and i will remove the laptop here as my product selection then actually the answer for a b and c is 1611 but i am getting 458 what 458 i am getting actually i am getting sales of laptop i am not getting sales of customers who purchase laptop so first thing is i need to find out those customers how here we can use element functions p so i have to first write down here concatenate function here and i will say distinct customer and i will concatenate by comma and i will remove this selections so we are getting a b c and d but because laptop is only purchased by a b and c so d should not be part of this one so now i will start writing element function here so i will write set expression here in such set modifier i will write my dimension now which dimension i have to write the question is i want customer who purchase laptop so i want customer so i i want customer who purchase laptop so i have to write down something like this p customer so i want customer means i have wrote p equal to possible customer now what customer who purchase laptop that means i have to write down another set expression here and i will say product equal to laptop and when i will apply it i will get a b and c so let's try to understand again i will remove this set expression so we will get count of distinct customer here a b c and d now our objective is to find out customer so what what we are trying to find out we are trying to find out customer so here i will write customer equal to p customer means possible customer so i want customer from a possible set of customer who purchase laptop so there is a specific condition and to fulfill that condition i have to write down another set expression here and i will say product equal to laptop and now i will get a b and c because d is not a part of this set 
So once I will get this, the same set expression I can write. I will copy this set expression and I will mention it here. So I will get 3 again. Now this, this set expression I will also copy for sum of sales and we will see what we are getting as output. We are getting 1611. So we have three customers who purchase laptop. Then these customers are A, B and C. So if I will select A, B and C, then the sales total sales of A, B and C is 1611. So this is what we are getting here 1611. Now as I mentioned, if we mention more than one dimension in set modifier, then they will create end condition. So here I can break this expression something like this. So I have sum of sales and this one is my start of set expression, this one is end of set expression and this is my first condition. So if I will write an another condition here, I will say year equal to 2022. So now what should be the answer? So what will happen here, this set expression will give me three customer A, 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 B, B, B and C, C, C and with this another set modifier, it will create an end condition and the final expression will give me sales of these three customers for year 2022. So if we go here and we'll see 534 is the answer. So we can test this answer. We select A, B and C and for 2022 we are getting 534. So this is what we are getting here. So if you see here, so there are two set for this whole set expression. The first one is this and the second one is this set. This is why we can call this set expression as nested set analysis expression. There are two different sets which are working based on the selection. Now say, now I will remove this from here, this second set and I will copy this whole expression and I will paste it here and I will say year equal to dollar maximum year and there will be a comma. So this will give me 534 same as the previous one. Now if I will copy this and I will use the same expression here but instead of max year I will use max year minus 1. So I am getting 416. So the laptop is purchased from by A, B and C. So the sales of 2022 is 534 and the sales of 2021 means to maximum year minus 1 means it is 2022 minus 1 2021. So for the year 2021 sales of A, B and C is 416. So hope this is clear how we can use element function P to find out the possible values. Now what about E? So if I will use E here, that means I want to find out number of customers who have want to purchase product laptop. So instead of P, you have to write E here. E means excluded. So we have only one customer and if instead of P, I will use E here, then I will get D as my final output because I am concatenating customers and here only one customer is there. And here I will get total sales of D. So the D total sales of D is 290. So if I will select D, you can see we have total sales as 290. Same way, if I will use E here, then I will get current year sales, maximum year sales of D and this one is previous year sales of 
D. So we can also verify the total here is 112 and 85. So hope this is clear to you where we can use element functions P and E and how to use them. The syntax is a bit tricky but once you start using them it will be very easy to write them. In next video I will show you the set identifiers which we can use for indirect set analysis. Till then thanks and have a great day.